Hey guys, welcome back to Joe Food Japan. I'm Nicholas Pettis. Today, I've come all the way up to Sendai to find out something about the most important things in life. Love and cheese. Oh, yeah. oh, let's get going. Don't worry, this isn't the episode where I get all peace and love on you. Today, I'm actually heading to a restaurant called Love and Cheese. Just a few minutes walk from Sendai Station. These guys deliver delicious and interesting ways to enjoy cheese that aren't often seen here in Japan. Now, while you may not think of Japan as a country that's into cheese, the first records of this dairy delight actually date back to over a thousand years. It was even said to have been offered as gifts Ooh, to the emperors. Yummy. Can you believe it? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Is this starting to grate on you? No, 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 please don't unsubscribe. This is all I have. Would you please tell us a little bit about why it's so good here? Lavand cheese is a country that is used to make cheese in a different way. It's a special cheese for cheese. 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 Please tell us a little bit about what I will actually be eating today. Wait, don't tell me you got cheesecake. <laughs> oh man, I love cheese. I'm going to get all cheese out today for sure. This is not cheesy at all. Cheese is so pretty. <laughs> I think I'm in love. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. When they grill it up to melt it down, it burns a little bit, so you get a little bit of that burnt edge. And man, that is kind of smoky and just so savory. I'm so glad I started Junk Food Japan because without it, this would never have happened. Let's try it with a little bit of the pork here. Oh man, I love this feeling. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. I was so excited about this, I forgot to do my initial Itadakimasu! Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is good. The best way to enjoy these rachlet meals is with a glass of wine. I'm seeing myself in the Swiss Alps mm. in front of a beautiful, beautiful lake. Mm. Nice and quiet. Mm. It is like the sound of music in my mouth. Yeah, and so there are a little bit of vegetables in here. I mean, I'm not a big fan of vegetables in, on the food show here called Junk Food Japan. Why would you make it healthy? You just junk it up like that. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the next dish. Uh, can we get the karaage too? Oh man, that karaage looks amazing actually. It's not karaage, it's karaage. Ooh, nice and crispy. Ooh, Japanese fried chicken. I know someone who would be super jealous on this one. Dr. Broad. Dr. Affable, mate. <laughs> this one's for you. I'm so going in here. Ooh, oh, okay. Okay, this might be way better than the bacon that I just had. Can I get a beer with this, please? Oh, thank you. Man, guys, if you don't know it, I'm gonna tell you about it now. Chicken and beer is actually a real thing in Japan. Anyway, here I got my chicken, I got my beer, and I can't wait to get a bite of this. Whoa, and then just like douse it in all that nice, beautiful cheese. Mm. Oh man, that's good. It's got like some chili stuff on it, so it leaves you with this beautiful aftertaste in your mouth where you just go, oh. That's why it's good with some beer. It's about now that I start my chicken dance. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is so good. The chicken, super crispy, but the, the actual meat from the breast in there, super juicy. 
and mixes with the melted cheese. It's like a punching match going on in there. What Muhammad Ali did for boxing, this does it for junk food. And just as I thought this couldn't get any better, <laughs> we now have some of the, the French baguette coming out. So the fondue, obviously I know what it is, but I don't think I can ever remember having had this here in Japan. I know cheese and I know bread. And if this is no good, I'm gonna lay it into the chef. <laughs> oh man, come on, look at that. <laughs> You know, I've had to eat broccoli for decades. I have a deep-rooted hatred for broccoli as is. Yep, I can smell it, right? That just gives me like visions of my inner child, like little rage Nicholas that goes like this. If this fondue can fix me of this fear, I'll be very excited. Redemption or revenge with the broccoli. I could eat broccoli like this every day, I think. This is not just pure cheese, right? The way that it like comes off like that is so that it can coat the vegetables better. They mix in a little bit of gorgonzola and it makes it easier for the coating of all the cool, healthy things here. This is fun food. It is exciting. It's so full of cheese, it's not even funny. And I'm loving it. the caramelization of the top of the cake. Oh man, it's just sizzling right in front of me. Ooh. Oh, soft, bit of a, uh, a bit of a crunch to get through the top there because you just flame throat it. Not too hard bottom bun there. That's gonna mix really well when I bite into this guy. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's got that uh, caramelization on the top, right? So it does a little bit of a sugary crunch on the top there. You crunch through that and it mixes really well with a very soft, fluffy cheesecake. The spoon just like chops right through it. And then you get that crunchy, sugary, kind of flavorish uh, bottom here. But when you're eating it, it mixes up with the burnt top of the caramelized sugar on top of it. Man, it's absolutely delicious. Listen up guys, it's been a fantastic journey here over the last couple of months with you guys. If there are any other places you want me to go out and explore in Japan, leave a comment below. But I'm actually not done here in Sendai. So for now, roll the next shot, guys. Itadakimasu! Oh my God. This is a slice of heaven. It's not, not my dish, it's me. Now, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. It was like a symphony of cheese in my mouth. Woo. Guilty pleasures do come at a price, but this price, I'm willing to pay. Damn it, now I gotta go back to the gym.